Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In the last time we have seen the drain and evapotranspiration package. In this tutorial, I will show you the general heat boundary package. First, we have to open our model. Let's go to file and then open model. This is my project, Dana project. Previously, I worked on it and I will open this. Under models menu, we do have flow package and then it is a general heat boundary. We can open this. Okay. So the general heat boundary will be around this area. I am interested on this area. So this package is important to simulate the heat dependent flow boundaries. Similar to the drain package, the general heat boundary cell is defined by two active cells. If you right click on this area, you have the general heat boundary package parameters. Similar to the drain package, it is a general heat boundary hydro conductance and heat on the external source. So, this value can be imported using the multiplication of the horizontal hydro conductivity with that of the angles of the seal in the model. Whereas the heat on the external source will be some 50 or 40 meter below the ground level. So we will assume it the general heat boundary is below 50 meters from the head on the external source. Okay. So before inputting this value, we can input this head on the external source. Okay. Let's go to value. And then matrix, we do have parameter value of head on the external source. We can then load and replace our tube deviation. Browse the file. I do have a left on my top and then I will open this. Okay, then I will replace this value. Okay, yeah, this is automatically changed with the value of top elevation. And then I can say, okay. But from our first assumption, the general heat boundary is below 50 meter from the head on the external source. So we have to subtract from this value 50 meter go to value and then search and modify here is sorry general hydraulic it on the external source active this cell and we can change the color of this and then this 
okay with the minimum value of zero and the maximum value of four thousand with value fifty meter minus fifty meter because it is below from the it on the external source just add this value and then ok yeah it is automatically change it if you can if you click on this area double click this area yeah it automatically change it so I have to model my general heat boundary around this and I will click on this area and then the heat on the external source was imported from the value of CCA with the assumption of 50 meter below from the head on the external source the remaining widening is the aerial conductance so before that I have to magnify the cell value the cell and then I have to switch to this value and then we can input this this value like 0 0.003 okay also 0 0.00 far okay 0 Zero point five. Okay. Zero point zero zero five one. Zero point seven four one. Okay. So I have to save the changes file. Editor save changes to the general here boundary. Yes, so we have finished the today's tutorial. For more help on groundwater modeling tips, consider subscribing this channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.